Iceland is a nature lover's paradise and the top destination for most travelers and explorers. The uniqueness of the landscape and diversity of nature here justifies calling it Planet Iceland. As we approach this amazing island nation, we are greeted with the view of unending lava fields. From Keflavik Airport, we will be taking the flybus shuttle to Reykjavik bus station. We will be picked up by our guide from Troll Expeditions for our guided group tour around the island country. This is the minibus that we will be traveling in for the week. On the first day of the tour, we will be doing the Golden Circle, visiting Thingvellir National Park, Geysir Geothermal Area and Gulfos Waterfall. Thingvellir is a World Heritage Site and literally translates to Plains or Fields of the Parliament. It was the site of the Althing, the annual parliament of Iceland, where in 930 AD, over 30 ruling chiefs met for the first time to discuss law of the island and to create a commonwealth. These cracks are really the opening between two of the Earth's tectonic plates. The park lies in a rift valley that marks the crest of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and the boundary between the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates. Iceland is divided by the Mid-Atlantic Rift. Some parts of it, such as the West Fjords and Reykjavik, are on the North American tectonic plate, while others like Patnayokut Glacier and the East Fjords are on the Eurasian plate. Iceland is the only place in the world where this rift is above sea level and nowhere can you see the edges of both plates as clearly as in Thingvellir. We are walking between two tectonic plates which are slowly drifting apart. Such a feat should not be possible elsewhere over land where we can jump from one plate to the other. The tectonic plates move apart at approximately 2.5 cm per year. The effects of this movement are very clear within the park. Lava fields fill the valley from magma that welled up as the continent spread and the whole area is littered with ravines ripped open by centuries of earthquakes. River Oxara flows over that ridge and creates a beautiful waterfall Oxararfoss. With streams going into the lake Thingvallavatn, the largest natural lake in Iceland. The bloody gate from Game of Thrones and the fight between Brian of Tarth and the Hound was shot close by. It is illegal in Iceland to walk outside marked paths because it takes around 200 years for the moss to grow over these lava fields. Next stop in our Golden Circle journey is the Geysir Geothermal Field, considered part of the Neo-Volcanic region, meaning there is a form of volcanic activity happening but not in the traditional sense. In other words, you won't be seeing any volcanoes shooting spouts of lava into the air here, but the water you do see shooting into the air has been heated from the deep within the earth, making it a part of the volcanic system. Walking around this steaming piece of land with boiling water sprouting out from these fishes make us wonder what really is going down right under our feet. The geyser, which gives the name to all geysers around the world, shoots up approximately every 7 minutes. But capturing it on camera is a game of patience. I missed it several times, then there were some fluke ones, but eventually I got it.
These fumes are hot and the area smells pungent due to the sulfur content. We need to be careful not to touch the boiling hot water as there is not much protection around these fissures. Final destination for today is Gulfos or the Golden Waterfall which gives Golden Circle its name. Fos in Icelandic means waterfall. This river originates in the glacier Langjökull, and waterfall is 30 meters in height. This place almost became a hydroelectric plant when an English businessman wanted to buy this from the owner. At that time, Gulfos was owned by a farmer named Thomas Thomasson who didn't sell but leased it without the knowledge of a loophole that would allow the Englishman to proceed with his plans. It was Thomas's daughter, Sigrid Thomas Dotter, who would lead the charge in the following legal battle. Circumstances became so difficult that Sigrid threatened to throw herself into the waterfall if any construction began. Eventually, she won and the waterfall thus fell back into the hands of the Icelandic people. First day in Iceland won't be complete without visiting some beautiful Icelandic horses who apparently only eat their custom-made horse candies. Day one with troll expeditions ends at our extremely comfortable stay in Hotel Org. Hope the video was interesting and we all learned something new about Iceland. Let us meet again on the next part of Planet Iceland series.